Hi, my name is Sheridan Coldstream and today I want to give you a very rough understanding of the law of attraction or manifestation. There are videos, lots of videos, that will go into far more detail on the techniques you might want to apply, but I want to give you a down-to-earth understanding of what it means. Firstly, is it a real thing or is it complete nonsense? It is scientifically proven to be a very real thing, so stay listening. The other thing is that law of attraction is always, always happening. Whether it works for you or against you is another story entirely, but it's happening just as gravity is always happening. If you drop something from a height, it will go downwards. You can't change that. The law of attraction is a thing and manifestation is the same thing. It means manifesting what you want. The thing that works against you is your subconscious mind. This is the part of your brain, some say up to 95% of your thinking power is subconscious, has been working probably against you all your life. Before you're even seven, your subconscious mind is absorbing all the stuff that people have said around you and the environment in which you grow up and creating a brain that is usually wired more towards the negative than the positive. And that creates a series of habits, sometimes called paradigm, in your subconscious mind. So when you try too hard to do something differently or you want something too badly or you try and achieve something with a kind of determination, that actually jars and smashes against the part of your subconscious mind that says, nah, you can't do that, which is why we can try really hard to get the things we want, but they still don't happen. Do you know anybody who has a parking angel? To be honest, I have. So I will go into town to park my car and I'll say, yeah, I can always find a place. I have a parking angel. Do you know what? It's really nauseating, isn't it? I can. I can always find a space. Equally, do you know people who say, oh God, I'm so clumsy. And those are the people who always trip over and smash a glass on the ground. Whereas if we don't see ourselves as clumsy, that's also a self-fulfilling prophecy. So what's different from the people who have a parking angel and the people who are clumsy and those who don't or, or aren't? And the answer is their expectation. It's not the level of desire. It's not the wanting it badly. It's their level of expectation. Their expectation is within the subconscious mind. And that's the bit we need to work on changing. That paradigm, that series of habits that have worked against us for so long and give out the wrong energy and likewise attract the wrong energy too. Generally speaking, the energy you give out will attract a similar energy energy. Generally speaking, you'll have friends who are a bit like you. You feel more comfortable around people who are a bit like you. Well, everything works like that. So very briefly, because there's so much more on this on YouTube, to get what you want, you do need to know what you want and you have to have the courage to ask for it. Again, not with desperation, but just with an expectation that you're going to give this a serious go. So you might say, for example, I want to raise my income to £100,000 a year this year. And that's your kind of goal. And you'll do the things that you need to do to achieve that goal. But you need to do them with the expectation that this is going to work. And when you do, when you're working towards something, something really strange and really cool happens. People, things and circumstances will come out of the woodwork to help you achieve that because you're giving off this kind of positive energy, this kind of almost like a vibration that other people will pick up on. And that vibration you give off will attract a similar vibration to help you achieve exactly that. Now, I don't want to make it sound too easy because this takes practice. You can't just say, right, I'm going to earn £100,000 a year this year, boom, well, it's done. It takes practice, but that's the principle. So it's the energy you give off and generally in time, you'll become kind of aware of being in sync with the energies and the things you want to attract that are all around you. But in down to earth terms, what this does in time is it will change your expectation level from someone who wants something desperately but probably won't get it to someone who, generally speaking, gets what they expect and gets what they want out of life. I hope this has been helpful. If you've enjoyed this video, then please hit that notification bell and subscribe to this channel because there's an awful lot more I want to share with you. See you again soon.